Hello, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the orc reload method on wave 10. I'm going to be explaining it. It's been around for years and it's still being used today by defenders. It's still really good. So I thought I'd do a quick video, hopefully a quick video, explaining why it works, how it works, why, why even do it in the first place? You know, what's the point of it? So I thought I'd hopefully do that. So I'll just press play and I'll carry on. I'll talk about some other things from Wave 10 which uh, newer players don't really know either. So Wave 10, overstock cool, just like normal. Boom, there we go. And we start. We stock up. You might see where I've ran to, where I've clicked to straight away. This tile here. Let me get my pen out. Look at that. I love this pen. I've gone to this tile. This one. Why? This is where you're going to delay for the second healer. Yes, I'm right. Some people might not re realise that you have to delay for the second healer still on wave 10. Well, you kind of still want to, yes. It's still good to do. It helps a lot. And this sort of line is where you want to delay. Ideally, this square, though. Where I'm stood. I'm drawing a lot. But here. Yeah? Um, there's a few other spots you can delay. Uh, yes, delay. But this is ideal. And also, also, I'm not placing a safety food because I'm a real man. And I'm confident. So... <laughs> you should have confidence too. So I'm going to wait for 12 seconds. Boom. 12 seconds hits. Or 18 on the timer. I'm moving up. What am I doing though? So I've delayed. I'm going to place three good food on the northwest tile. I'm going to highlight it again. Look at that. This is where I'm placing my first three good food. Okay. Step number one. Step number two, I'm going to this tile. And I'm going to place one random food, preferably a bad food to save good food or whatever. I mean, I have the tile right next to it highlighted. Don't use this tile. Make sure you use this tile. It's just like this, just of this spike, northwest bit of this spike here. It has to be on this tile. If you place it anywhere else, the runners will actually just eat it. So it's not like on wave one and nine, where your trail... Was I saying trail? I mean trail. It's not like on wave one to nine, where your trail can be like some big-ass square. Anywhere in the side of some big-ass square. It's not like that on wave ten. Place it here. And always place it here. And you'll, you'll, mess, you'll miss it. You'll mess it up sometimes. You'll place it, like, just here or here or here. And then you'll see the runner eat it. It happens. Don't worry about it. That's just learning the hard way. That's where you're placing your trail food. Step two. Step three. I'm placing four food on this tile here. Just, um... Southeast of where the healer spawns. This bit here. So they're the main, they're basically just the, your food placement for this method. So I'll rewind a bit. You're delaying. You woke up. 12 seconds. Place three good food. Always three. Three good food. Yes. Then you place one. Not two good food, not four good food. Three. You place your trail. You place your main stack. And you're good. Now I walk east uh, to block this runner from going west. Um, not really important, but it's more also to help with healer spreads. Because I, Wave 10 is notorious for shit healer spreads. I want to try and keep them, you know, on this sort of area of the map. I don't want any going over here, right? So I'm helping them out a bit. I'm walking east. And you'll see these three healers. You cannot make it up. How perfect is that? Oh! Like a triangle. Genius. All intentional, by the way. That's, 
If you don't get that exact spread every single time, you're doing something wrong. No, I'm joking. But excellent. Look at that. Love to see it. But yes. Let me rewind a bit. You place your trail. You place your main stack. You run a bit east to help with healer spreads. Maybe block that runner. Once it gets to 24, just before 24, I'm walking up here or here or here in case the 24 second healer aggroes me. I want to un -aggro it instantly. But I don't, I don't sit here and wait. As soon as it happens, I'm running, I'm grabbing my logs. One, two. If you haven't got the Incando hammer, this is where you would also run and grab your hammer. But I put in the work to get my hammer, so I don't need to do that. And then I run back to trap. I call, it's meat, I run back to trap. Have you noticed where I'm going now though? I'm going to the east trap. I'll rotate, look at that. Oh wait, I might be able to get better. Let me pause. So I've come back to the trap, it's zero. There's no food left. I'm dropping three food again, but this time, not east, west. West trap food. The west tile of the trap. You know you know what I'm saying. You can see what I'm saying. But when we, when we first start, we place it here, right? But when we come back, we place it here. Okay? You stand on it. Repair the trap. You don't do a traditional multi. You do a soft multi. I think that's what they call it. You don't move on the multi tick. You move two seconds after the multi tick. So when you see the timer hit 16, that's when you're going to see me multi kill. 17, 16, and I click on my multi. And what does that do? It still like multis them, but that a soft multi only works when the trap is two. However, this is when it gets interesting. This is why this method is so good. I'll, I'll show it again. But I'll, I'll just show what happens, essentially. So you can see it. And you can see if you notice. And then if you do see why it's so good, you don't need to watch the rest of this video, I guess. But if you didn't see, I'll show you. So. Okay. I'm going to say a lot of words. And I hope I'll make sense. You place three food... At the trap at the start, yeah? Three food. Two, traditionally, two runners will die. If three runners, if three runners die, I'll explain that later. But traditionally, most of the time, two runners will die. Okay? You come back to the trap. That means there's four runners left. You're following me. Because there's six runners in total, wave 10. So, you've killed two. There's four left. Alright? But when you come back, you're only placing three food at the trap, and then you're doing this soft multi. Because you're only placing three food at the trap, three of the runners are going to die. So, let's say there's four. Yep. Yeah. This runner, this runner, this runner will multi when you soft multi, when you move when the time hits 16. They will die. This fourth one, well, there's no food at the trap for it, so it's not going to die. Right? So where does he go? He goes all the way up here to eat at the main stack. And I'll show you. The last two eat. There's the last runner. Ooh, it lagged a bit. I'm sorry about that. I'll rewind. But there he goes. Look at him go charging. A man on a mission. <laughs> He's hungry. He's going straight to the toe for a place all the way up there. Okay? Why do you want to do that? Why? Why, George? Well, if you don't know, I'll quickly explain. So, he penance healers, I'm talking about penance healers, when they first spawn, they will aggro a player. So, me, Duvel, Croquette over here, anyone. When they first spawn, they'll aggro a player and they'll poison them. As you see, I'm poisoned at the top. Once they do that, they wait a second, and then they target a penance runner. 
and they like they heal them. Okay? Even if they're full HP, they still heal them. And then after they do that, they then target a player. So it goes player, runner, player, runner, player, runner. Right? It's always like one, two, one, two, one, two. That's how the healers behave. What you're doing is, if this 48 healer, it does spawn at 48, I'll show you. So there's the 42. We can see the 42's on me, but the healer's blocking it for me. Very nice. And also you'll see, when I move, when I move to multi, I move to this square here, because if this 42 comes down, he'll go into this bit here, and I'll catch him here and he'll be stuck. So that's that, but anyway. It comes to 48. Look at that, 48 healer spawns. This guy, so the 42 is not important because he will die on his own. But the 48 healer is important because the healer will steal, still need to use food on him later on. He's not got enough food to like kill him right now. So you want to try lure this healer. But what happens if it targets... If it targets me as the defender, I'm pretty good, right? I'm fine. Like, I'll probably lure it, yeah? I can just kill the runners. But if it targets the healer, as he does, as you can see, he's just all the way up there, on his own, chilling. He's looking for a runner to heal. Because he just targeted the player, right? So he's looking for a runner. But if I just killed all the runners that are all the way down here, he's never going to heal a runner. And if he never heals a runner, he will never target a player. Because he's, you know, one, one, two, one, two, one, two. I hope I'm making sense. So, if I just kill all the runners, this guy will just stay here. And he could do whatever he wants. Which is a problem. Because he could go here, he could do all this zigzagging he could go all the way down to the horn if he wants to he's unlured and the healer still wants to use food on him so it's a problem right because it, like it's an issue it's, it's not helpful it's bad I, I hope that makes sense so what you're doing is you're sending i think of it as if you go fishing you're sending out your fishing line so I'm sending this runner out to go catch this fish. That's essentially what it looks like to me. I'm casting my line. Pew! Off he goes. And I'm sending him literally on top of the healer. It's, it's so amazing, really. It's really amazing. But because I send him over... Look. You see him? He just turned, he's going for the runner. He's going for the runner, because I sent him all the way up there. So once I see that happen, I then place one food, west side of the trap. Don't place it here, don't place it along this line. Don't place it there. Make sure you place it here, here or here. Yeah? Place a food, and I go running. He poison. he heals the runner, he retargets Goes to retarget a player, because you can see on the map, our player here is all the way down here. He's out of range of this guy, so he can only see me. Which means he always goes on me. And then look at that. I caught the lure. And look at this fella running. He runs all the way back to trap. He eats at the trap, and he dies. I'm able to catch the 60 healer. As he spawns, I call Tofu for the player healer because he wants to know the call. And then I do a cannon split. There's plenty of resources out there for cannon splits. So I'm not, I'm not going to spend time explaining that. I'm purely s explaining the reload method. So that's, that's it. Little changes. It won't be the exact same every single time things can go wrong number one if it does number one i'll say if the runner doesn't run all the way up here if he like instead just runs south right or he just runs west if that happens that is 
one of a few reasons. One, it might have been bumped way too much by either you or the healer or anyone. If that's the case, unlucky, don't worry about it. You just try and kill the runner. If you, you if you don't get the reload, you don't get it. Oh well, right? Don't like cry about it, it's fine. Number two, um, if you don't move on a soft multi-tick, which is when the timer says 16, right? If you move, if you don't move at this time, there's some ticks you could move and you'll just shaft yourself over, right? Or, so it won't work then. Or also, if you actually, you want to place, when you come back to the trap and you place your trap food, back at the trap. You want to place one food less than the amount of runners that's still alive. If you hadn't figured that out yet. Because you want to keep one alive so he runs all the way back up and then you'll bring him back down. So yes, if you placed like, if you come back to the trap and you place like six trap food the runner's just going to eat at the trap. He's not going to go up there. So then you're not going to get the reload. Okay? That's that explained. What else is there? If three runners die at the start, so if you come back to the trap and the runners like auto multi themselves and three runners die, well, that it, it's really simple. Don't panic. If three runners die, let's see, three died. Well, we know there's six total on wave 10, so there's three left, there's three still alive. So instead of placing three food when you get back to the trap, you will only place two. And then it will still work fine. If that makes sense. And another thing, if you come back to the trap and there's still a food at the trap, don't worry. If there's one food, there's a few things you can do. If you come back to the trap, say you've got three food there, but there's still like a tofu here which didn't get eaten. It's a tofu times one. There's a few things you can do. You can either... Um, well, I'll tell you what I do, which seems to work every single time for me. When you multi, um, when the timer says 16, so when you do the soft multi, instead of clicking here, like I do here, I click to pick up the tofu that the or whatever the food is that's left the one food that's left and then i walk here and it works every single time at least for me so far uh, so yeah is there anything else mm, when you're running to if you when you're bringing the last runner back from the main stack and you're running over like all the way west to lure healers and split them at the cannon and stuff. If you run too far west, if you don't see the, this last runner actually target and move to the trap food before you go, get out of its vision, it won't die. Uh, this is what people call ren rendering the runner. That's what they mean when they say that. So you know, like, I can't see him anymore. He's gone. He's not in my game anymore. He's just vanished. Right? If I move too far away from him before he targets that trap food, he won't actually die eating the trap food. He'll stay alive. But as long as you see him start moving, like, I had plenty of time here. He started targeting the food back. You'll, you'll be able to see exactly when he targets the food back. Uh, now you see how he's turned around so I'm perfectly fine I've got loads of time so uh, make sure you render the runner and one more thing when you're running west from the trap to come lure these healers run in a straight line Ooh, run straight west yeah don't what I mean by that is don't do this and don't do like this. The reason being, you're very likely, it's very likely that you're gonna stack the healers if you do that and you can't split them. So just 
go straight across. I have no idea how long this is. I don't know if I've covered everything. I'm just going to stop. Thank you for watching.